Matt, we're a week into spring training. First off, how do you, when you look at the character of this team, how is it shaping up in your first week that you see from working with this ball club? This is an amazing close-knit group of guys, and uh, they've welcomed me in with open arms. I'm excited about that. It's, um, it's something that you need to go through a long season, uh, not just a group of 25 guys that know each other well, but a group of usually 40, 45 players that are used throughout the course of the season. So it's a close-knit group. We rag on each other, but we really pull for each other, and it's been fun to be a part of already. Clint has set the bar high for this team. Uh, you've been a part of some Braves teams that have gone to the playoffs and done very well. Why is it important to set the bar high and, and, and for, as you head into 2011? I think there's only, there's only one place to set the bar, and that's high. I, th I don't think you can go into a season with any expectations other than playing in the playoffs. If, if that, that is, you might as well just waste the season right then. So we're going in uh, looking to surprise some people this year, and uh, you know our manager believes in us, and we believe in us. You've been on teams that you know they've got a lot of good young guys, uh, you know the, the Braves and the Rays, uh, when they were starting, you know get on the upswing. Does that remind you of teams like that when you got the McCutcheons and Tabatas and Alvarez of the world, Neil Walker, that, that this is an exciting team to watch? This is an exciting team to watch, this, uh, these, these young guys. And, yeah, it does, it does remind me of that. Um, I, think, I think with our young starting rotation, I think uh, you, have, you have the makings of something special. But I also think that we have a back end of the bullpen that a lot of, a lot of teams would love to have. So offensively, I think we're going to keep us in a lot of bull, ball games. I think, uh, and in the back end of the bullpen, that's where we're going to win a lot of ball games. Clint has it seems like he's putting emphasis on the base running in, in this camp. Uh, how can taking that extra base, stealing that extra bag, getting that extra base when there's a, a, line, a, a, a ball in the gap, how can that be? Can that be a big difference in uh, between winning and losing? For us, especially, it can. You know, um, if, if 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 a guy in St. Louis, for let's just say, doesn't take that extra base, you know, Pujol still may hit a homer in the next pitch. We don't have that bat in the middle of the lineup where we're going, oh, that guy's going to hit 40 home runs this year. We we don't have that bat um, in Milwaukee. They got you know they got Prince and Braun. We got to get runs a little differently. We'll have our share of homers, but we also got to we also got to move up bases, and and play the game the right way. And um, he's really emphasized base running and defense for us position players. And so we got to make sure we don't give them any free runs, and we're going to take every free run we can.